Hey guys, hope everybody is doing well. All right, so I am going to read a book for you. Albert and Sarah Jane. It's about a cat and dog. Albert and Sarah Jane were the very best of friends. Their favorite thing to do was curl up in a great big cat dog cuddle by the fire. But there was one thing Albert liked even better than that. And that was eating his yummy, scrumptious crunches from his big blue bowl. And there was one thing he liked even better than that. And that was eating Sarah Jane's even yummier, scrumptious, fishy nibbles. He steal one or two from her little red bowl when his, when his friends weren't looking. They always tasted so much better than his own. But one morning while Sarah Jane was out, and about, Albert got a little carried away with his nibbling. Mmm. When his friends came back in the yard, he was all ready for breakfast. But there wasn't a speck of food left in her little red bowl. When Sarah Jane looked to see if there was anything in Albert's big blue bowl, she found there wasn't a speck of food in there either. She went to ask Albert why there, were, why there weren't any food to eat, but he was fast asleep in his basket. That's odd, she thought. I'm sure he's fatter than usual, and I'm sure he smells all fishy too. You've been eating my food, you naughty dog, hissed Sarah Jane, arching her back. But Albert just snored and ignored her. Okay, said Sarah Jane. I've had enough of this. She turned around and marched straight out of the house. Albert opened one eye and saw Sarah Jane leaving through the pet door. She'll be back, he thought. She always comes back. But Sarah Jane didn't come back. She went to live next door instead. By the evening, Albert was lonely. By the next morning, he was howling at the pet door. Come home, Sarah Jane, he cried. I miss you. Albert spotted Sarah Jane through the upstairs window. He smiled at her in a doggy sort of way, but Sarah Jane ignored him. So Albert sneaked out the house, went next door, set himself down on the doorstep, and howled. Come home, Sarah Jane, he cried. I miss you. Stop howling, you naughty dog, hissed Sarah Jane, coming down to see what all the fuss was about. But I'm sad and lonely, said Albert. I want to get a great big cat dog cuddle by the fire. Well, the food, well, the food's better over here. And nobody steals it, said Sarah Jane. But it's lonely here, too, without a big, smelly lump of dog to snuggle up to. Me, asked Albert. Yes, you, said Sarah Jane. Do you miss me, too? asked Albert. I do, said Sarah Jane. Well, I'm sorry, said Albert. What for? asked Sarah Jane. For gobbling up all your fishy nibbles said Albert. Will you do it again? asked Sarah Jane. I won't, said Albert. Will you ever nibble them? asked Sarah Jane. I won't, said Albert. Good, said Sarah Jane. So she, so she marched back home and Albert marched back home behind her. They had a little nibble from their red and blue bows. And then they cuddled up together in a great big cat dog cuddle by the fire and fell asleep. The end. All right. Thanks, guys. Hope everybody's at home having fun with their parents and their siblings. Thanks for reading the book with me.